again after an emphatic victory, the greatest fear entering week nine was a letdown. And after falling behind 20 to 10 late in the second quarter at Houston, the concerns appeared realistic. The Texas offense was moving the ball, and Wayne McGarity's one-yard TD run with 2.42 left sent Texas to the locker room trailing by just a field goal at 20 to 17. Against Houston this year, um, our game plan was to come out and try to throw the ball deep on them. Um, they had a good defensive scheme um, early in the game, and you know, our defense couldn't stop them. So at halftime, it was a real close game. And we came out in the second half, and you know we just got everything together. And everyone was just more poised, and we just got into it. So we put a lot of points on the board. With some defensive adjustments that included playing predominantly zone coverage and an energized offense, Texas dominated the second half. James Brown set the tone, sprinting four yards for a TD on a fourth and one play early in the third quarter. Three yard line. Backs off set behind James Brown. Fitzgerald goes in motion to the left. Brown fakes the handoff. Now he's rolling to the right. He's got room to run. He's at the five. Did he get in the corner? Yes, he did. Touchdown, James Brown. And the Longhorns regain the lead. That would mark the first of four straight touchdowns as Brown found Davis, McLemore, and Fitzgerald for TDs. And the Horns would go up on top 45 to 20. Defensively, the Longhorns held the Cougs scoreless and to just 95 yards of offense in the second half. On the heels of James Brown's career-high 338 yards and four touchdown passes, he earned Southwest Conference Offensive Player of the Week honors. Um, in the Houston game, I was pleased with my performance. It was um, one of the few weeks that I got an entire weeks of practice, you know, before the game, you know, not due to an injury or whatever. So I got a full week of practice, and you know, I came in, and I was clicking a little bit better than I was in previous weeks. The Horns had scored 35 unanswered points and won 52 to 20, dodging a bullet and remaining alone atop the Southwest Conference. Texas secured a spot among the nation's top 10 as it prepared for upset-minded TCU. With star running back Andre Davis back from a four-game suspension, the Horn Frogs were fired up, but the Texas defense was ready, keeping TCU out of the end zone and forcing the Frogs to settle for field goals on three trips inside the 10-yard line. Tied 13-all at the half, TCU drove to the six-yard line, but was forced to settle for Michael Reeder's 23-yard field goal midway through the third quarter. James Brown methodically directed the Horns 71 yards in 15 plays to claim a 20-16 lead on a Wayne McGarity one-yard run. Chris Carter's third down stop forced TCU to settle for another field goal. Carter, who had 17 tackles and two interceptions, was named the National Defensive Player of the Week. Back to throw is Naki. Lost one across the middle. The pass is intercepted by Carter at the 35. 30, 20, and down to the 15-yard line. Chris Carter with his fourth interception of the year, his second interception of the day, a 20-yard return. Well, against TCU, our defensive game plan basically was to disrupt, disrupt uh, Max Nacky. He's a great passer, a great player. We had to get in his head. We had to make some things happen. Uh, we got a good defensive rush. The defense was feeling good about the things we were doing. I happened to read Max Nacky a couple times, helped get couple of good reads on him and uh, we made some plays. But it was Tony Brackens who had a flair for the dramatic. He recovered a fumble that set up Wayne McGarity's one yard run late in the third quarter. Then Bracken's sack of TCU quarterback Max Knocky jarred the ball loose and stalled the Frogs final drive inside the Texas 30 yard line. Uh, my defense <clears throat> really shined this game. We knew that coming into the game that we had to play up to our potential in order to beat this offense because they had Andre Davis coming back and they was going to try to run the ball basically down our throats and we figured if we could try to hold him under 100 yards, which we didn't, but we tried to hold him under 100 yards, then we would win the game. And Chris Carter stepped up, everyone played as hard as they could and came out on top. The 27-19 victory was the final stamp of approval on a Longhorn defense that was emerging. But after a late game injury to James Brown, it was his health that gained much of the attention. Everyone's eyes continued to focus on James Brown's injured ankle as a Longhorn matchup with Baylor approached. With a share of the conference title and a clean sweep of six home games on the line, the Horns prepared to face the Bears without their star quarterback. 
Backup Richard Walton was called upon to lead the Longhorns in one of the most critical games in recent Texas memory. And the Steers turned back the clock with a smash mouth style. Longhorn defense stole the show by harassing the Bears throughout the game. But it was an offensive play that set the tone late in the second quarter. Texas claimed control of the game. Richard Walton found Pat Fitzgerald at midfield, and the All-American tight end rumbled 70 yards for a score and a 7-0 Longhorn lead that they would never relinquish. Touchdown at Baylor was you know, one of the best plays of the season for me personally. Um, you know, we practiced it earlier in the week, and, uh, and we knew what their safeties were going to do, and uh, I was hoping I'd get the ball and run as far as I could, and as soon as I got the call, I knew it was coming to me, so I uh, got it. Two guys missed, and uh, the rest is history. That play helped Walton settle in and direct an offense that generated more than 300 yards in the second half. Led by Chris Aiken's 14 tackles, a much-improved defense was the stabilizing force. Texas would add a third-quarter TD scamper by Sean Mitchell and a fourth-quarter one-yard TD run by Wayne McGarity to make the score 21-0. Five, did he stay in bounds? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Texas, 27 yards, Sean Mitchell. The Bears scored their only points when the game had already been decided. Well, it had been a dream of mine to play for the University of Texas all my life, and uh, I had been preparing all year as the backup and knowing I was one play away. And when James went down, I was uh, ready to get my chance. And after that pass, you know, it was a great feeling with the team behind me and everything. It was a dream come true. The 21 to 13 victory set the stage for the much anticipated championship matchup with arch rival Texas A&M.